Lila Ibrahim. And I'm Jesse Sinsack. And why are we standing at the bottom of this totem carving, Lila? Because, Jesse, we are here today to learn about the four host First Nations. I've been doing a little interwebbing on those guys, and I believe there's one called Inuit and one called Squamish, am I right? Yes, you've been doing your homework, and there are a couple others, and to teach us more about it, the CEO of the Four Host First Nations, Tawani Joseph, will be joining us. Hi, Tawani, thank you so much for joining us to tell us a little bit more about the Host First Nations. Wow, I'm excited to be here. This is another milestone for us. We've invited all the Aboriginal people across Canada to come here. They're going to be celebrating from every region in Canada, exciting. First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. It's really very exciting. exciting. So there are a few uh, host First Nations, one of them being the Inuit. That was the oldest, I believe, the first. Can you tell us a little bit about the Inuit and also the others that started there before after? Yeah, well, the games are taking place within uh, the Lilwat, Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh, oh. so we're both Interior Salish and Coast Salish. We've invited the Inuit to be a part of our celebration, so they're coming down. There's a group representing all the four Inuit regions of the north, so they're bringing their culture down. You'll see Inuit throat singing. You'll see the best of their culture and the finest of the people that they have coming down. So for us, it's a very ancient culture. It's above the tree line, so if you've never been there before, which I had a chance to travel there last year for it, it's just an incredible part of the world. Talk to me a little bit about, um, take us back to the bid and how the, the host, the, they got involved. How, tell us a little bit about the, the story behind that and its significance. Sure, in 1997, um, our late Chief Joe Mathias from the Squamish Nation was invited to the first bid corporation meeting. So for us, we were invited from the very beginning. And from there, it started to grow. They also invited the Little Lot people, uh, the Musqueam and the Tsleil-Waututh. So from there, I think this is a real model for how you can bring people together. And for us, we said we weren't just going to be beads and feathers. We wanted to be meaningful partnerships in the games. And I think this is the result of it. And it's a fitness official... Post, yeah, for the first time in Olympic history, um, Indigenous peoples are full partners in the game, so it's never happened before. And for us, you know, to we've done about 170 plus initiatives in these games, from economic development to youth and sport initiatives. We also have 300 youth coming in from across the country, uh, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. So this is a true celebration of what's going right in our culture. And talk to me a little bit about the participation during these 2010 Winter Games with opening ceremonies and other things going on. Well, I think what you're going to see is the very best of Aboriginal businesses, but also uh, performing artists and visual artists. Every single venue has Olympic works where there's First Nations Inuit and Métis have come in from across the country. Over 100 artists have participated in that. At our average of a billion, you're going to see uh, performing artists such as Buffy St. Marie, Diggin' Roots, Murray Porter, the very finest uh, Indigenous performers. Also, uh, we have some performers from around the world, so people will get a good flavor from blues to rock and roll to jiggers to throat singers. You'll see the very best of traditional and contemporary cultures. Now, the host First Nations obviously have an amazing background and story. What is the background and story on this totem carving that we're seeing in front of here? Yeah, what you have here here is a, is a representation of a bear. And then the next symbol that you see as we start to work our way up the pole is the faces of the four host First Nations that have come together. Yep. This is really this journey that we've been on, but also people of the world. And that's an orca that's represented there. And on the very top is a thunderbird. Uh, the Thunderbird, obviously, is a mythical figure yes. that actually in our culture is very, very significant. So it's looking down upon all of us in these games. And I think the important thing is this is a celebration of all cultures and a celebration of how we all came together. So this pole will mark that very important part in history. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being here. To find out more about the first host nations, you can visit them online. And for all of AP's Olympic coverage, please visit us at wintergames.ap.org. Thank you.